Santos in a 4-3-8 and paired that with a solid day of drills. Now, a slower time for Arkansas Razorback wide receiver Traylon Burks, an official 4-5-5, but speed isn't his calling card. It's versatility. Burks being called the next Debo Samuel with the ability to play both running back and wide receiver. Nittany Lion, Jahan Dotson clocked a 4-4-3 and then just started showing off. Speed and sticky hands, pretty decent combination, one would say. But if any wide receiver stole the show, it may have been Western Michigan Sky Moore, who had James Jones shouting his approval at the screen all afternoon long. Moore's NFL comp, eerily similar to Curtis Samuel. Now, Sky Moore with a 79 production score, 85 athleticism score, 78 overall score, according to our friends at Next Gen Stats. All right. JJ takes one to no one, huh? Which pass catcher boosted his draft stock the most today? And do I need to even ask? I think I know who it is. Yeah, you don't. And it, and it's Sky Moore. I mean, you seen? I didn't think he was gonna run that fast. Turn it's watching crazy. his tape, seeing him make big plays and tough catches and all that. I didn't think he was gonna run that fast. But to come out there and clock in at a four three, and then when you go back and you put this kid's tape on, there is not a play on that tape that he cannot make. He's running away from people. He's making the tough catches. But then when they got to the route tree. He ran the best routes out of anybody on that field today out of both groups. He was smooth in and out of his breaks. Not one football hit the ground. The young fella is special. If I'm a GM, I understand what all these stats <laughs> say and all that. And he projected here, projected there. But I'm telling you right now, man, it, you may start thinking about taking him in the first round. Well, James, like Daniel Jeremiah seems to agree with you, too, because he tweeted about Sky Moore saying that he is not making it out of the second round round of the draft. The tape is too good and he can fly. No question. All right, David, what about for you? Which uh, pass catcher caught your eye? Resident QB? Well, there's a kid from Memphis that went to the Senior Bowl and played really well and kind of stood out and you're like, oh, I hope he runs good. I hope he does well. <laughs> then he comes to the combine and, and Calvin Austin ran Ooh. extremely well and then he caught the ball well. The drills were great, but he kind of just explodes off the film. When you watch him, I mean, he makes all the dynamic plays. He runs by guys. He stacks guys. He does things that veteran wide receivers do. It's a lot of fun to watch him. You question maybe the, you know, some of the guys that he played against because he's cooking a lot of these guys out there. It makes it look rather embarrassing at times but you wonder how it translates but then he goes to the senior bowl and he plays excellent exactly. and then he goes to the combine where all the best players in the world are and he outperforms most of those guys so you know in, in the 40 top five vertical top five broad jump top five right 11 feet broad jump right Impression. at his size so I mean that guy is fantastic athlete to watch love watching him get him for your best quarterback yeah, he out just there. he just he just plays who comes out there that's right my goodness I'm from San Jose you know we know what I'm all saying? about that's that right? it. just play whoever comes out right. there let's get it and of course wide receiver prospects are going to teams with wide receiver needs like the Jacks Jets Falcons the Lions the Commanders in the mix the Browns the Bolts Eagles Pats Bills Bucks Chiefs and Raiders to name more than a few so plenty of options here for all of these guys to head to but which team are you circling there who needs a, a great dynamic guy like that in the first round you know the Falcons they stick it with Matty Ice so let's put some people around him. You already got Kyle Pitts. You're going to get my man Calvin Ridley coming back, who I believe is absolutely special, bona fide number one. I'm sending Alabama, Jameis, Ooh. over there to them. And I'm telling you right now, these three, these three, oh, my goodness. They lucky he ain't at the combine <laughs> right now with that ACL. But coming back off of that ACL, and they say he's ahead of schedule, put this guy in the game and those three and you have a dynamic trio out there in Atlanta for Matty Ice to spin this football too. We watched this young fella at Alabama all year long yeah. and he made plays every single game he stepped on the football field. You get him with Calvin Ridley, you get him with Cal Pitts, with Matty Ice, we got action. I like that. We got action. What about you? I think I think they need to get Zach Wilson's brother, Garrett Wilson. All right, brother from another mother. <laughs> I was going to say what? But when I watch this kid play on film again, he's dynamic, right? And then he goes out and he runs extremely fast. At Ohio State, he was a dynamic football player. They got a ton of good receivers. All right, I get it, right? But he was a fantastic player. He'll go up over the top and make plays, take the ball away at the high point, run away from you. Zach Wilson needs a guy like this. I think that you know what he showed in his rookie year was nice. There were, there were some things you can really get excited about, but you need a dynamic playmaker. You need a guy like this, Garrett Wilson. Go out there, grab him jets, make your quarterback a happy man. You got two first round picks. I know you're a defensive yeah. coach, but come on, do something. Yeah, right grab two of them. Grab two of those guys. <laughs> you get two guys from Ohio State. Oh. Tom? Oh. Our guys are great. Like that.
<laughs> and Next Gen Stats backs them up because check out these overall draft scores for wide receivers. They got your two guys at one and two. Jamison Williams with a 92 okay. score there. And Garrett Wilson with a 90. Rounding out this group is speedster Chris Olave, who we saw there with an 84.